Phew! Sierra! to the return of the incredible machine contraptions. Hi, I'm the professor. I'm speaking to you through this loudspeaker because one of my experiments went wrong. I'm currently radioactive and I don't want to contaminate you. Now, I've assembled dozens of contraptions for you to complete. If you can solve them all, then I'll know you're the one who's got what it takes to be my apprentice. Just choose where you want to go by clicking on one of these signs here. <laughs> Good luck. Hi, I'm the professor. If you're playing this, this is probably your first contraption. If not, you can turn me off by clicking on the Done button. Click on Next to hear more, or Back to hear previous instructions. This takes about two minutes. The large area behind me is the contraption playfield. This is where you solve all the contraptions I've constructed for you aspiring apprentices. The smaller area below the playfield is the parts bin. It's where the spare parts are stored that you can use to solve each contraption. To move parts from the parts bin to the playfield, click once on the part, then click once on the playfield to place it. To move it, click on it again, then click to place it. When you move the cursor over a part, it's highlighted by a dotted line which also displays the part's info handles. You can size walls and inclines by dragging the blue arrows. The arrows size the part larger or smaller in the direction they're pointing. Clicking on the red arrows will flip a part. The garbage can puts the parts back into the parts bin. Click on the magnifying glass to get more info on this or any other part. Now, here are some general tips to help you with the contraptions. When you first load a contraption, always start it first to see how the parts placed on the playfield interact with each other. Before you do anything, read each hint displayed on the contraption as a pointing finger. You can turn off the hint hands by clicking on the hint button. Click next and I'll show you how to solve the first contraption. Knock the eight ball off the screen. Please click on all of the pointing finger hints and read them before you start. Watch how each one of these balls bounces when you click the Start button. Note how this glittery super ball bounces. It seems to have an endless supply of energy. this eight ball rolls around as if you're looking down on it, whereas the rest of the balls act as if you're looking at them from the side. Click once on the super ball in the parts bin, then click once again to place it directly under the eight ball. Then click the start button. put both bowling balls into the large column box in the center. Be sure and read all of the hints. Then complete the red brick ramp going into the box. Get both basketballs into the piped area by building an apparatus like the one you see to the left. Please be sure and read all of the hints.
the two bowling balls into the wicker baskets by building an apparatus like the one you see to the left. Now remember, do the hints in order. Make the balls go into the boxes by using a pulley. Again, do the hints in sequential order. Start the four household appliances. Burn toast, open a can, start the fan and the blender. Don't forget the hints. Both bowling balls between the logs by assembling a similar set of parts as is on the lap. Start the blender and the can opener by using generators. Use the contraption on the left as a guide. I want you to turn on the lava lamp, the flashlight, and in the process, activate the solar panel. Note the order of the hints. Light Aladdin's lamps and the candle.
Light the match and make fire with the flint rocks. Notice the order of the hints. Blow up all of the dynamite and all the vials of nitroglycerin. While you're at it, notice their effect on the different types of walls. How to use remote bombs and which is stronger, red or yellow brick? Try to get your rocket into space before the other two rockets can stop it. Launch all three fireworks. and explode all three missiles. Notice how each type of wall is affected. the cannons. Put the bowling ball into the steel cage.
start the mixer. Pop the happy face balloon, but none of the others. Pop all of the blimps. Launch all of the hot air balloons. Make each balloon go into a yellow brick box and each bowling ball into a red one. both bowling balls into a cage by making an apparatus similar to the one on the left. Keep the pinball from going off of the screen for at least five seconds. Get both balloons off the screen. Turn on both electric mixers and open both cans. Toast in each of the toasters and hit the eight ball off the top of the screen. Put 
each bowling ball into a steel cage. Get all of the pinballs off the screen. Turn on all of the computers to read the message. Sink the 15 ball in the upper left corner pocket. Learn how to use all of the billiard parts. Blow the hot air balloon off the screen and start the jack-in-the-box. Lasers emit intense beams of colored light. Turn on all of the lasers. Laser-activated plugs are electrical outlets which are switched on by a laser emitting the same color as their front. Use them to start the electric mixer. The goal is to open all of the cans. 
We're going to mix colored laser lights in order to start several laser activated outlets. A laser mixer is like a funnel which takes two or three colored lights in from one side and combines them into one. Learn how to make laser beams change direction with mirrors. You will see how to start the electric mixer with the laser mirrors. Turn on the green light in each of the laser detectors. Put the pinballs into the aquariums by using two very strange devices. Examine the contraption to the upper left and complete the one like it on the lower right. Click on the new parts information handle for more about how they convert rotational energy to back and forth motion and stuff. Put the two beach buckets up inside the yellow bricks. Note the order of the hints. one bucket into each basket. Learn the difference between ropes, cables, snips, and trimmers. Put all five cats between the pipes.
Get all of the mice to a piece of cheese. Get a mouse into each mouse hole. Put a bowling ball inside each crate by constructing a similar contraption to the one set up on the left. Get one Schlemming into each house. Observe the upper two levels, then complete the lower two. Put the pinball into the aquarium. <laughs> Vacuum up both mice. Start the fan. Make the bottom glove punch and turn on the mixer, all with programmable balls. I guess I don't have to remind you to read all of the hints, do I? work! You just solved all the tutorial contraptions! Are you ready for the next batch of brain teasers? Good luck! <laughs>